Hey everybody, Jared of Second Life Design. Got another Milling Monday video for you where I answer your chainsaw milling, slab drying, slab making, general log jockey questions. Today's question comes from Tim from Instagram. I'm getting irregular saw marks when I'm using my chainsaw mill to make slabs. How do I get a better consistent cut finish quality? So uh, right off the bat, I will say, I think there's this I just want to get this out so we can kind of we can get on the same page with everything. I think a lot of people assume or think or I guess hope that when you're making slabs that you're going to be able to you know let them dry and the, the cut was so good that you're going to be able just to sand these things and put finish on them and that's all you're going to need to do. And that's not really the case. Um, you're using a chainsaw to cut a, a log apart and to make them boards. It is not a precision tool. Even the, the nicest bandsaw mill with a brand new blade is still going to leave milling marks on the slab. Uh, I'll, I'll insert some pictures of the milling marks that I'm, I think that Tim's concerned about or talking about. But even the regular milling marks, just straight lines going across the slabs, a bandsaw mill is going to leave that the same way. So, you know, this concept that you're going to get raw slabs that you can just glue them together and sand them and you'll be done. I just want to get that out of the way. I don't really know if that's feasible. Um, I, I accept that, so I'm not as concerned about milling marks uh, like the ones in the picks. But... Uh, you know, there's a, there's something to be, you know, you can get, you can get good slabs, you can get good appearance out of them in a couple different ways. Uh, one tip that I picked up from Richards Woodcraft on uh, Instagram, Kevin Richards, super nice guy out in Salt Lake City. Uh, he showed a couple different videos where he puts blocks in when you're adjusting your mill for height. He cuts some blocks for the thickness that he wants, you know, two and a half or three inch or whatever. And he puts those in so it's going up between both rails of the mill and the bar. And what that's doing is keeping it so there's no twisting between the mill and the bar. I think there's enough, enough slop in the vertical motion that you can get just a little bit of twist to it and that can cause some irregularities and get some different saw marks going on. Uh, so that's one way of getting, you know, a, a, get your mill straight and that's going to help mitigate any, any mill marks a little bit. Uh, the second big improvement I found uh, was when I started using the Alaskan winch from Granberg. Um, and, and why you get the mill marks is you're pushing through and you're, you know, you're not making progress one way. So, okay, I'll push on the other side and I'll, cu I'll cut that side down a little bit. And then you get that sawing motion. And that's where the mill marks come from. And you're pushing from a different angle. And it's just, it could be ever so slight. But that's where you get that slight little deviance in the top. And that's what makes the marks. So by using the winch, you're pulling from the same point it's making a consistent pull all the way through. So, you know, not to sound like a commercial, but get an Alaskan winch, call Granberg, uh, use code Second Life Design to get 10% off, and that's going to make your life easier. Not only is it going to make a better finish, it's also going to be, you, aren't have to, you don't have to exert so much to push the mill through. You're, you know, let the winch do the work. So that's just kind of, if you want to be doing this for long term, you're going to have to kind of work smarter, not harder, and that's an easy way to do it. So... You know, a really quick one, not a lot to it. You know, I think kind of getting past the idea that, you know, it's, it, there's going to be multiple steps to this. You're not going to just cut the slabs and make a dinner table the next time, you know, the next time you see them. So, you know, going to get past that, make sure the mill's tweaked, you know, get it set just right, get an Alaskan winch. That's going to improve your life in a few different ways. That's what I got. If you have any more questions, drop them to me on here or on Instagram at Second Life Design. Um, Really appreciate all the feedback and comments, likes, thumbs up, shares, all that stuff. I realize I say um a lot. I'm working on it. I'm trying to keep this loose and keep it easy. Uh, I've had a couple people uh, show interest in, and I'm trying to gauge whether it'd be worth doing. Um, doing the similar kind of thing to Milling Monday, but more of like a wood shop centric, you know, for you know woodworking as a small business, uh, general techniques and tips that might help you know kind of quick concept things i wouldn't want to get too specific with it but i think there's something out there to be said i think there's enough to be learned from people where i could, where I could help people so if that's something you're interested in leave me a comment send me a message let me kind of i think i'm going to do it i just want to know which way to take it so let me know what your thoughts are 
so I can help you more. So that's what I got. Thanks, guys.